it's Salute here. Thank you for listening to my story. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe so we can go on more adventures together. And if you want more of my stories, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Now, let's begin. Another magical full moon. Another quiet night in the woods. Alone. I should get a familiar. At least then I wouldn't be talking to myself. <sighs> Being lonely is really distracting. I can't stop thinking about my empty bed at home. I keep looking up at the night sky and sighing. I should be looking at the ground, checking the roots of the trees for the glowing mushrooms that I need. That's why I'm out here. What? What is that? It looks like a person. Oh! Oh, you're just a statue. But... Wow! Look at you! You're lovely, aren't you? You know, famous poets often compare the features of beautiful people to sculptures like you. So many words in so many books, describing people as if they were carved from rose petals and polished marble. But you, you actually are. Pardon me while I walk around you in a circle. I want to appreciate your craftsmanship. You're life-sized, aren't you? Those clothes you're wearing look old-fashioned. I haven't seen a collar styled like that since I was a child. You must be very old, but... Thankfully, you're well made. And very remote. Why are you in the middle of the woods? Why are you sculpted seated? Aren't most statues made to be standing? Well, my feet are tired and talking to you is better than talking to myself. Excuse me, I'm just going to sit in your lap for a moment and admire you. Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you. You know, it's not every day I find a beautiful statue in the woods. I still wonder what you're doing here. Are you a monument? I don't see a plaque at your feet. Or are you a grave marker? I've seen statues in cemeteries, though usually they look smaller. But maybe that's just because I'm on my broomstick and everything looks small. But I don't see the outline of a grave plot anywhere near you. I'm going to run the back of my hand along your cheek. I just want to feel how smooth you are. Your face is beautiful. Perfection. Your eyes are captivating. Who are you modeled after? Uh, 
sorry, I don't mean to be indecent by dragging my hands down the front of your coat. But the detail on these buttons is... Huh, there's a little circle here, sculpted over your heart, which is love circles. Did you know that? I wonder if you were made for me. <laughs> oh, we love circles because life is very cyclical. Endings and beginnings, over and over. There's never an end. There's no plateau you can reach. Everyone thinks it's like climbing a mountain, but it's more like drifting through an endless sea. And some people think that's depressing, sure, but I've always found it a bit empowering. What do you think, my statue lover? Oh! You have a question for me. Of course. Why is life a circle? Oh, you ask the best questions. Are you good looking and smart? Oh, I can't. That's the complete package. Uh, but to answer your question, because circles fit perfectly in a square, I know that sounds silly. Let me try to explain. There's the four elements, the four suits of tarot, the four compass points, four seasons, and the four corners of the universe. Our world is a box, and we loop endlessly inside of it. It's okay. You don't have to make any sense of it. I'm rambling a bit. You're just a statue, but you seem so real to me. Is it because I'm lonely? Or is it because you're so well sculpted? I don't want to leave you, even though I'm supposed to be looking for mushrooms. But the moon is still high. I have time to spend with you still, my statue. I'm just going to rest my head on your shoulder and... What? What am I hearing? That sounds like a heartbeat. That's you! My statue! Oh! Oh, this changes everything by the gods! You're... It's okay! If you can hear me, it's going to be okay. I'm a witch. I'm not a particularly good witch, but I can fix this. Oh, you poor thing. You must have been cursed, and I was just sitting here on your lap talking to you like... And you've been... Oh, okay. Breathe. Breathe. I... I know, I know where to start. I have some salt in my bags. I'm just going to slide off you, and I'll make a circle of salt around you to keep you safe and ward off any evil while I work. I... Oh, gods. Okay, if you can hear me, I promise everything is going to be okay. Here, I have some carp scales as well. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm just going to rest them over your eyes for luck. I get the feeling we're going to need a bit of that. 
whatever spell bound you to this form was masterful. But this magic is cruel, and I won't stand for it. It's not a witch's place to punish others. There. Okay. The salt is laid. Think. I need to think. How would I break this curse? Magic be gone. No, no, that would be too easy. Of course that didn't work. Don't worry though, I'll set you free, even if it takes me all night, okay? And then when you're human and alive, hopefully you won't remember me touching your cheek and telling you that you're beautiful. Okay, this sounds scary, but I'm just going to try and sink a lot of magic into you and see what happens. going to have to be clever about this, aren't I? Just let me pick myself up off the ground. I'm not hurt, just my pride. I'm not done yet. You... What is the trick to this? What is out of place? I have to think about this. Huh. Wait. That circle. The circle over your heart. This circle right here over your heart. It's not a part of you. It's not on your clothing. And it's so small. Something you can't see until you get really close. Close, like I did. Sometimes the most complicated curses have the simplest solutions. I have a small chisel in my bag for harvesting the bark from trees. I... I don't want to hurt you, but I think... I think I need to break that circle over your heart. Oh, okay. Wish me luck, alright? I'm gonna be gentle, don't worry. I don't think you'll feel anything. Hey, hey, are you okay? Please look at me. Hey, hey, it's gonna be alright. I promise everything is gonna be okay. I'm here. You're not alone. Whoa, go easy on yourself. I know you want to stand up and look around, but your body is coursing with magic. I'm gonna pull your head into my lap for a moment. Blink up at me if that's alright. Okay, thank you for trusting me. I, I don't know if you know that we've met before, um, a few, a few moments ago. There. Just catch your breath while you get reoriented. It's okay. 
the moon is above us and there's a salt circle around us, so we're completely safe. You have a bit of statue dust on your cheeks. Let me gently brush that off. You... You look just like the statue. Oh, hi. My name is Tara. What's yours? It's really nice to meet you. Are you feeling okay? Can you wiggle your toes? Take a deep breath for me. I'm going to keep my hand on your chest, and I want to feel it rise and fall. Inhale. Good. And exhale slowly. Smell the night air around us. Good. You're doing great. Listen to me. I'm going to take care of you. That curse was on you for a long time, and you need to rest and recover. Once you're able to stand, I'll put you on my broomstick, okay? It will be a little cold, but my cabin isn't far from here, and I'll build a big fire for you and I'll feed you something good. Give me a nod if that sounds like a worthy plan to you. Great. Um, one more question. You didn't hear anything I said when you were a statue, right? Oh, oh, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just be blushing forever. Um, but I am looking forward to getting to know you. I'll help you recover, and I want to hear everything about you. I'm fascinated. And I'll catch you up. I think you've been gone for a while. I'm so glad I found you, that I could help you. This feels like the beginning of something great. Are you ready to go home with me? The